The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Hello, this is Professor Play. Welcome to Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. I first battled the Metroids on Planet Zebus. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. Dot, dot, dot. This was the very first of the Metroid games on the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. Ah, oh, Metroid, look at that. Good old Samus, giving it to Mother Brain. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them, except for a larva, which after hatching followed me like a confused child. We have to fast forward to the original Game Boy, black and white. This was actually how the game looked. Actually, the graphics are a little bit better. We destroyed every single Metroid except for one single larva who started to follow Samus around, just like a lost child. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres, so scientists could study its energy-producing qualities. That's the mature, responsible thing to do. She realized, as a scientist, you shouldn't eradicate all life. You want to preserve it, learn more about it. The scientists' findings were astounding. Of course they were. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. You go, scientists, in your lab coats. You do the right thing. Look at them. Studying. Lab coats. Science is happening. Love it. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sarah Station was under attack. Let's check it out, Samus. Let's go check it. What's going on here? Space colony. Alright, 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 I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm ready, I'm ready for some Super Metroid. Look, I don't even have my hair done. It's all just crazy, crazy natural. Whatever, whatever. I got my lucky, I got my lucky Power Rangers t-shirt on. Let's do this. It's a Loot Crate t-shirt. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I love that jump. I wish it made sound effects when I jumped around. Oh! Hello? Hello? Scientists! They did. They did. Dead scientists. That ain't good. That ain't good. Okay. Things look pretty bad. Hey, there you are, baby. Hi, baby. I saved you. Gonna take you home. Gonna take you home, baby Metroid. Oh! 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 Space pterodactyl! Pew, pew, pew! Don't. Don't, don't, I, don't, ah, ugh, ugh, no, no, I, stupid block is like, what, stop, right in the way, god, come on, how am I supposed to dodge that, ugh, can't dodge, okay, Ugh. You ran away! You chicken! Get back here! Self-destruct sequence activated. Evacuate colony immediately. Oh good, a minute. A full minute. Run. 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 Faster! This game has such dramatic music. I remember playing this game as a child and panicking. Panicking when this was going on. Oh, there's crap falling on me. Get out. Get out. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, the whole place is changing and shaking. Oh, oh. 36 seconds. We out.
Woo! Follow that stupid pterodactyl. Where is he going? Back to Planet Zebus, where the original Metroid game took place. See, some argue that this was the true sequel to the first game, because the second one, you were out hunting Metroids only, whereas in the first one, you were really against the space pirates and Mother Brain, the big villain, the big baddie. Okay, it's raining. We landing. Storming. Alien world. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Okay, can't get that way yet. Oh, the the pink, pink barriers are for rockets only. So I need to find. <sighs> I ain't going that way. For those of you who know about Samus Aran, you know what one of her key abilities are that she can transform into a small ball and roll around. Sounds kind of weird. Really cool ability. Uh, it's something she has to learn. Whoa. Whoa, boy. Uh. Oh. Oh. That's cool. This is where Mother Brain was. In the first game, pew, pew, pew. this is where you fought her. She was shooting all her little lasers at you. She's literally a brain. Like, not figuratively the brain of the operation. Like, literally, she's a giant brain in a glass jar. And you had to fire rockets at her to break the glass. And then you shot her right in the brain. In the brain. And you go, how difficult of a boss is that? If she's a giant brain, she's not moving. But she's hooked up to all this technology, and she's got laser beams and fireball things shooting at you. Awful. Ooh. Morph ball. Yeah. Can roll into a ball. Oh. Roll away. Yeah. That's cool. What's this way? See, morph ball is what's up. That's cool. Ooh, go down. Morph ball! See, now I can go through that. So the idea of Metroid games are you start off and you keep... Ooh, Chozo. Yeah! As you play through, you get more and more abilities and weapons, and that unlocks more and more of the game to you. So now I have the morph ball. So now I can access little tiny crevices that I couldn't access before. Now I got the rockets, which means I can blow through, if I can aim, blow through, let's see how this work. Yeah. These red, one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, now the door's unlocked permanently. Uh, I'm out of rockets, but if I kill baddies, kill baddies, oh, I'll get more rockets. So not a big deal. All right, stop more rockets usually there's like 255 rockets total you can get which is insane so now i have a maximum capacity of 10 but i'm currently carrying only five i have 99 energy 99 hits and then i die Ooh. it's not too bad all right i'm going gonna go back up let's see Gonna go all the way up. Let's see.